let's talk about kindergarten. We're going to give you a small glimpse into the world that your child is about to be a part of. These are our teachers that are at Crowdersville Elementary. And these are the teachers that are at Wapak Elementary. At both buildings, we do practice co-teaching. So there will always be two teachers or two adults in the classroom every day, helping your child learn. The school day is from 8.30 until 2.40. If your child is tardy, and needs to still come into the building, there are cameras that, are, that show the office staff who is walking up to the doors. Sometimes the kindergartners are a little too short to be seen in the camera. So although parents are not gonna be allowed to enter the building this year, we ask that you still walk up to the doors with your child if you're arriving after 8.30. Um, when students get to school, they will go to the cafeteria to eat breakfast or they can head straight down to their classroom to start their day. At the beginning of the year, boys will attend only on Tuesday, August the 25th and Thursday, August 27th. And the girls will only attend on Wednesday, August 26th and Friday, August 28th. And we like to do that because it is new for them to learn the new routines and expectations at school. And when we only have half the children there, it helps them feel more comfortable learning these new routines and expectations. All students will then start attending together on Monday, August 31st. If your child is going to ride the bus this school year, we ask that you send him or her on the bus on the first day of school to help them become familiar with the routines of how to get off the bus and where to go into the building and go from there. On that first day of school, we will not have had a chance to give your child a name tag and sometimes they're nervous when they come to school on the first day. So if you could send a name tag or a simple label with their name and the teacher's name, it would help the adults uh, in the hallways that are helping them get to their classrooms if your child cannot remember who their teacher is or they're a little nervous when they get here. So that would be very helpful. On the first day of school, your child's teacher will give them a name tag to come uh, to take home and bring back the following days to help until they get used to their routine. If there is a change in how dismissal will go for your child on a given day, please make sure you call the school office or send a note in the morning. It's important that you not leave a voicemail for the teacher during the day because obviously the teachers have a classroom full of students and they don't usually check their voicemail until the students have already got home for the day. So they might miss that message in, in the right amount of time. So make sure you call the office or send in a note. We do go outside daily as long as the weather permits, but we also ask that you keep um, checking the weather and send your child to school with the appropriate clothing that they might need for whatever the weather is that day. Um, the cafeteria keeps money for lunch and breakfast on a computerized system, so you can deposit money and see how much your child has in their account, and you can see what they're purchasing that day, and then um, so you can just keep track of how everything is using that computerized system and login information will be provided to you at a later time. Students can begin eating breakfast at eight o'clock when the doors open at the school and is over, breakfast is over at 8.30 when the school day starts. Lunch costs $2.70 this year. And if you are sending money into the school with your child and not depositing it straight on to the online system, make sure you put it in an envelope that's labeled with your child's name their teacher's name and the words lunch money so the teacher knows exactly what the money is for. If you're writing a check, it should be made out to Crydersville Elementary or Wapakoneta Elementary. Unfortunately, this year we'll not be able to send in birthday treats to help celebrate your child's birthday. And also we will not be able to accept visitors or volunteers into our building this year. We have a a busy year in kindergarten and we will be completing a lot of hands-on activities to meet our standards that we have. Uh, we'll do that in a very safe way this school year. In language arts, we talk about the alphabet and reading readiness skills such as rhyming, syllables, beginning sound, ending sound, middle sounds, things like that. We work on handwriting and how to properly form the letters and we do creative writing where your students will be creating and writing their own sentences by the end of the year. 
During math in kindergarten, we work on sorting, counting, shapes, graphing, and addition and subtraction. We also introduce a variety of health, science, and social studies topics. We know that students are more successful with the curriculum when they have a strong relationship with their teachers and friends. We will work on building trust and confidence so that your child will be successful in kindergarten. Please check your child's take home folder each day so that you will know what your child is doing in the classroom and how they are doing. The state of Ohio requires us to give the KRA kindergarten readiness assessment at the beginning of each school year. This assessment is given individually to each student and lets us know the skills your child already has coming into kindergarten. Kindergarten students receive a grade card at the end of each nine weeks. It is a standards-based grade card, which means you will not see a grade for each subject overall. For example, under math, there will be a score for addition and a score for subtraction and so on. Under reading, you will see a score for rhyming or comprehension. Each score will be a one, two, or a three. A one means that your child still needs some practice with that skill. A two means they're making progress with that skill. And a three would mean that they've mastered that skill. Parent-teacher conferences are in November, and the teachers will be contacting you when we have more information on how these will go this year. Keeping the doors of communication open between families and school will also help your child be successful in kindergarten. Your child's teacher will let you know the best way to contact them. All teachers will be using Google Classroom to some extent this year. You will be receiving information how to log in to your child's Google Classroom account. Welcome to our wonderful world of kindergarten. We're excited to get to know and work with all of you. And please let us know if you have any questions.